Falcon Eyes is expanding their line of RGB app controlled lights. And now we have two new additions to add to the lineup, the Irisal One. Check that out. And they're fully controllable all through the app. Let's go. Hey guys, Ray Lindsay here from Starstrung Productions. This is the Irisa One. It is an RGB stick light from Falcon Eyes. This is the smallest of the three lights that are coming out in this series. This is the one foot version, the Irisa One. There's also gonna be a two foot version and coming very soon, a four foot version. It's just so cool, like all the stuff that you can do with this thing. Like you can just simply just change the color and I'm gonna stick it to the side of a C stand here and just dramatically improve your shot so feel free to put the iris of one anywhere you can put it vertically you can put it sideways you can hang it from a stand you can adjust it you can move it around and the magnets are really strong so i trust it to stay in place and not move around while i'm shooting and here we are with a nice warm sunset look and we have full control outside the window as well so we're able to change the color if we want let's say green or blue but what I'm really interested in is going to the scene mode. Now check this out. Lightning. Police. TV screen. HSI mode where it fades in between the different colors. And a couple of different party modes as well, which would be fun for music videos. All right, so before we get into the user controls and how to link this up in the app, let's go ahead and see what you actually get in the box. It comes with this nice little carrying case. So this is everything it comes with. You have the USB-C charger, the fixture itself, and the carrying case for it. The fixture itself is about 13 and a half inches, and the light fixture part is about 11 and a half inches. Weighs a little bit less than a pound and a half. Quarter 20 threaded holes on both sides. On this side, you have two mini XLR inputs for connecting these to a lighting board with DMX capabilities. And you have the USB-C charging port on this side and you can use the fixture while you're charging it. You see the light turns red whenever you're charging the fixture and it turns green whenever it's fully charged. You can power them straight from the wall if you need to or a power bank and the battery lasts actually a really long time. But it takes about two hours to charge these lights and they last a little bit over two hours at maximum brightness. These are both at 1% right now so you can imagine them lasting a lot longer because you don't need the maximum output at all times. The magnetic ends on the... So the magnetic backs on them are super strong as you can see, and these aren't going anywhere. So no matter where you stick these things, they're gonna be, oh, see? No matter where you stick them, you don't have to worry about them falling and hitting your talon in the head or something. And the magnets are actually really strong. So we're gonna test that right here with a little durability test, swinging this back and forth. I don't have a sandbag on this C stand, so it's a little wobbly too, so it's shaking everywhere. And as you can see, it's doing really good. So, not bad. These lights are both at 1% right now. They actually get really bright, but they are both 13 watt bulbs. The two foot version is a 25 watt bulb, and the four foot version is a 50 watt bulb. Overall, I think these lights are awesome and they're super handy. I'll definitely be getting a lot of great use out of mine. I can see these coming in really handy for people that shoot music videos, product photography, fashion, or anybody that just wants to add a little light to their home studio or background. These are an awesome option. By the way, Falcon Eyes did send me these lights to test out for free, although all the opinions in this video are solely mine and this is a completely independent review. Although if you're interested in picking these up, the links are down in the description below. So be sure to check those out. All right, so for the main controls, there are just the five buttons here. This one is illuminated whenever you turn it on. So the main screen that you're gonna be operating from is this tiny little OLED screen here. First, you're gonna be in CCT mode. So these different buttons, they're really large and the good thing is you'll be able to find those in the dark if you're feeling there. This is the fixtures on and off button. This button actually toggles between the different modes of the light. This takes you between the different values of each mode and this raises or lowers each value in that mode. 
So this light actually starts you off in CCT mode, which is the different basic color temperatures. And this has a huge range from basically 10,999 Kelvin all the way down to 2,500 Kelvin. So super blue to super warm. And to raise the intensity here, we can just start bringing this value up and you can hold the button to raise the intensity there. So let me lower it back down so we're not blown out in the shot. Let's go to 1% down and you can actually add green and magenta here as well if you need some kind of green or magenta shift depending on your lights next mode we have scene mode and you can go through all the different scenes here and you can control the speed and the brightness of them next you can do hue saturation and intensity so before you select your hue i recommend raising the saturation up let's go to 100 percent saturation and let's raise the intensity up to let's say 25% and let's switch over to which hue you want and then you just hold this down to select whatever color you wanna be on. Next mode is RGB. You can add each individual hue in there. Next mode, you have Lee filters. These are just preset gels that are in here so you don't have to scroll and find the individual color. You can just match up your Lee gels in here. Next, you have Roscoe gels. This is the same concept here. So let's just switch between a few different Roscoe gels. So those are preset colors in there as well. So this is Bluetooth reset. Let's say you have some difficulties pairing up your device. One thing I do wish it had was a little grid or like a little soft box that you could flag off the sides with. I did find one of those on Falcon Eyes Hong Kong website, but I didn't see any for sale in the United States. But depending on when you watch this video, that may have changed by now. Like you see how their F7 Mini came with a little soft box and it also came with this honeycomb grid for making the light more directional. So just imagine if this light here had a little soft box diffuser like this that could make the light more directional and control some of the spill on the sides here. All right, so now you know the functionality of the buttons on the actual fixture itself, but you actually gain some more features with the Dezel Light app here. This is the F7 Mini RGB, which I just have off camera here. So if you're interested in checking out the video for that light, I'll leave a link to it here. So to add your device, you're gonna go to your Bluetooth settings, select FE, see there's two of them there. Actually, this is the one I'm already connected to. All right, Bluetooth pairing, okay. All right, so you'll just hit add, add device. And there you can see both of these RGB tubes are on here. So I'll add this one. And then I'll add this one. And to test it out, if you connect it or not, you can hit this little blink feature here. So now that they're added, let's go back and go to devices. Now you can see all three fixtures are listed here. If you see under the group tab, you can go to all devices and I can control all three of these lights at once. Edit name. We're gonna call this one Arisa RGB1 and hit okay. Oops, and then we're gonna call this one Irisa RGB2. Okay. And now we have complete control over these two lights. You can have them linked together like this. Here is color temperature mode, 2800, 3200, 4000, 5500, 6000, and 7000 Kelvin. Here is the scene mode where you can do the different scenes like lightning, candle, far and near headlights, police, and you can have the lights offset as well. This is a mode where you can actually have the lights play to different songs. And in picture mode, you can use this little dropper tool here to select a color and it'll match the color like that. Or you can use your full camera or your gallery. All right, guys, be sure to hit the like button if you like what we're seeing from Falcon Eyes, providing us filmmakers with budget RGB options for all of our filmmaking needs. Leave me a comment if you have questions about anything. Shoot for the stars, and I will see you very soon in the next video.